Okay, so in this tutorial, we are going to set up our um, virtual reality headset camera. Um, so I want you to start on Blackboard. And the second link, VRTK Academy How To Guides, is going to look like this. We're going to start with the first one, camera rigs. Um, and inside that, we're going to start uh, with the first one of these. We'll eventually do all of these. Um, so uh, adding the Unity XR camera rig. Um, so these uh, how-to guides on the VRTK Academy are really, really useful because they take you through exactly what you need to do to achieve your goals um, in setting up a, uh, a VR project inside Unity. So um, this intro and useful definition stuff is all useful to you um, and you should check it out. But I'm going to take you through the nitty gritty of, um, of how we do this together. So step one, it has us open up the prefabs package directory. Um, and find the VRTK prefabs that we installed last time when we edited that JSON file. So that's down here under the packages twirly in your project window in Unity. So we're going to twirl that down and open VRTK prefabs. And then we're going inside camera rig. Um, and we want the Unity XR camera rig. Um, So we're going to grab this uh, Unity XR camera rig prefab. And a prefab is um, like a cube icon. And we're going to click it and drag it up into our hierarchy window. All right. Next step is that we're going to delete the main camera um, in our project, which is um, because this has now become the camera. And Unity can't have two cameras. Um, it'll get really confused. <laughs> um, so we're going to just select main camera and hit delete. Um, so now we have the Unity XR camera rig. Um, and we're going to keep following our steps. So we're going to select that game object that we just dragged in. And we're going to go down to the Unity XR configurator script in the inspector. Um, and we're going to follow these steps. We're going to ensure that it says room scale. Um, and that's on the assumption that we're authoring for a headset like um, the Rift or the Vive or the Index, you know, something that you can actually walk around in. Um, if you were just authoring for um, phone or Oculus Go or something, you would choose stationary here. Um, so here we're just confirming which choice we want to make. And that's it. And that's as far as this tutorial takes us um, in terms of the VRTK website. But uh, we <laughs> are in this video tutorial are moving on um, to the next one, which is adding a tracked alias. Um, so that uh, is another tool that um, is a prefab inside our VRTK prefabs camera rig. And you can grab the tracked alias and drag it up here um, into the hierarchy window. Now, um, what a tracked alias does is it can link um, multiple camera rigs to this one parent game object. Um, so this is going to allow us to do some powerful things like have a simulated camera headset for all of us who don't have headsets at home to work with. Um, we can have a simulated one that follows all the same rules as the real one, but it won't get confused by the fact that there's more than one. Um, 
and uh, it also allows us to do things like support more than one headset type. Like, oh, this all of this stuff that's relevant for the Vive could be relevant for um, the the Rift or something like that too. Um, so we've dragged the tracked alias in, and um, then in its properties in the inspector, um, we're going to follow these steps. Um, we're going to change the camera rigs element size to one instead of zero. Um, so you find that here, we're going to twirl elements down and change it to one. So now we've got an element um, where we didn't have one before and we're going to drag the Unity XR camera rig into that element. So grab it from the hierarchy, drag it here into element zero, and we're done. <laughs> um, so um, this is cool because we're going to be utilizing this to link to the next tutorial, which is adding the simulated camera rig. Okay, so now we're going to grab the simulated camera rig um, and drag it up into the hierarchy. And then we're going to follow that same procedure as last time go into tracked alias, change the size from one to two now, and drag simulated camera rig into the second one. Last package we're gonna grab from down here in VRTK prefabs camera rig is the camera rig switcher. Um, and what this does is at the start of hitting play, it allows you to choose um, which camera rig the thing should run on, either the simulated camera rig, which most of you will be using at home if you don't have a headset, or the headset you have attached. Um, if you do have a headset at home, uh, this will be really useful for you for testing. If you don't, I think you should still do it, because when you turn it into me, I will want to be able to... Um, to test both ways. Um, so the way you do this is you drag camera rig switcher up into the hierarchy. Um, and now we're going to click that and follow the exact same thing we did with tracked alias. We're going to change the size um, of the elements section to two and hit enter. Um, and the Unity XR camera rig is going to be the first, element zero, and the simulated camera rig is going to be the second, element one. Um, now, you can see, just to make a camera um, and the controllers, uh, which is what the camera rig represents, um, the head and the left and right controller, just to do that, um, we ended up with four game objects that some of which refer to each other. So let's do a little organization. Um, in Unity, you can choose um, Create Empty Game Object by right-clicking Create Empty. Um, and this is sort of going to work like a folder might. Um, I'm going to uh, rename it and call it um, VRTK camera setup and I'm going to click uh, the first in this list of camera stuff hold shift and click the last list so now I've got all of them and I'm going to click and drag them all and put them into camera setup so now they're underneath VRTK camera setup and that whole thing can be twirled closed so we don't have to see it um, or it can be open um, to allow us to mess with any of it, okay? Now, here's where the proof is in the pudding. We're going to right-click and make a 3D object a cube 
Um, this is going to be our floor. Let's um, change its scale to something more floor like. Um, and then uh, lower it by 0.5 so that it's literally on the floor here. Um, and then the last thing we have to do is go into our um, camera setup object. And we're going to take the simulated camera rig and uncheck this first box in the inspector. Um, this is just going to make it inactive by default. Um, it doesn't really matter which one's active or inactive, I don't think. Um, but if you try to run this with both these cameras active, that creates a, a similar problem to way back when we deleted the main camera. Um, you've got two cameras here <laughs> in the scene and Unity can't deal with that. So we need, um, by default, only one. So it'll be this by default, but then the camera rig switcher is going to allow us to switch them. So even if you don't have a headset, um, you, you can make the simulated camera rig off at first. And then when we hit play, um, I do have a headset, so I get, um, I get headset control, but I can also use my mouse to go over and click simulated camera rig. And now those of you without headsets have the ability to use your mouse as a headset and if you look over at the simulator key bindings, um, it's sort of like a, a video game, like a first person shooter kind of a thing. If you um, use WASD, you can um, maneuver your camera rig all around your floor. Um, there are also controls for buttons and like moving the um, the controllers and stuff like that. Uh, honestly, it's pretty hard to use the um, the simulated camera rig to do complicated uh, VR controls, um, but we can at least uh, get a, a decent look at what our um, room looks like as if we had a headset on just by doing this. Okay, to get out of this, you hit escape and then you get your mouse back and then you can um, hit the play button so you can go back to your scene view and do more editing. So now that we have a working um, simulated VR experience, uh, you can start to remember those things that we did in class, um, right? Which was like creating new, um, new objects and assets for your scene. Um, so you can right click in your sample scene and create a 3D object. Maybe it's a sphere. Um, you know, you can um, make it float. You can make um, a 3D uh, cube that is um, subject to gravity by adding a component on it. Um, remember we used rigid body to make something subject to gravity. Um, use gravity as the uh, uh, default is checked. Um, we could create um, a materials folder. So we're going to do folder and call it materials. Go in there and create a material. Um, I'll call it green. I'll go into its albedo property and make it um, a little bit green. Then I can drag it to my um, ball. I can make more of these, you know, to color my other um, objects, you know, um, gray for the floor. a little bit of a red gray but that's cool um, and then we can do um, a yellow for the cube 
maybe we can make that a very uh, smooth, shiny yellow. Um, and then when we, and maybe I'll raise this up to give it a little time to fall. And then when we hit go, in the simulated camera rig, well, that thing's already hit the ground. <laughs> um, it fell pretty fast. But now we're walking around a uh, very simple um, 3D world made of uh, 3D objects. So you can do um, some of the stuff that we were learning last uh, time we met in, in real space um, to start to stage your VR space. Um, over the course of the tutorials that I'll put online, I'll show you a bunch of cooler things to do than just putting in basic uh, geometric forms. But this is going to be able to get you started creating something that feels architectural um, in order to uh, give ourselves a sense of scale and space that can be navigated around. Oh yeah, and just as a reminder, we also made a physic material last time um, by right clicking and doing create physic material. Um, and we made one called bounce. And um, we turned up the bounciness here and applied it to our uh, gravity object. And that's going to let it bounce. <laughs> so that's just a quick review of everything that we did together um, in class that you can now use your simulated camera rig to navigate around.